When I was a boy, I remember very vividly um, uh, uh, my teacher at school telling us, telling the school, that a new era had dawned. Uh, that suddenly this marvelous new substance called plastic had been invented, and it was light and it was cheap and it could be used for a multitude of things. And though so that in centuries to come, you'll look back on the 20th century and say that was plastic period. He was truer than he knew. Because although it was all those advantages, the, the, the mere fact that it was indestructible meant that it was could not be thrown away. Plastic manufacturers happily said, once, once you've used this, throw it away, discard it. There is no away, because plastic is so permanent and so indestructible that when you cast it into the ocean, or indeed into your dustbin, it does not go away. Plastic is very stable, mouldable, durable and easy to clean. This makes it a very useful material. For example, it delivers great benefits to the medical profession as a cheap, strong material that is easy to sterilise. And even easier to throw away. And that's where the problem really starts. Because plastic doesn't break down like biodegradable materials. Its durability is its greatest asset, but also the reason it has become such a big environmental problem. When plastic is thrown away, it doesn't go away. It just breaks up into smaller and smaller pieces, and those pieces stick around for a very long time. Some plastic that was made over 70 years ago is still around today, in our landfills and the ocean. Once made, plastic is difficult to get rid of, if not properly dealt with. We need to change our throw away attitude. And we can start by using much less plastic in our daily lives. We also need to stop producing single use plastic items, ensuring that when we do use it, we have a good reason. We need better design and production methods to make sure that the plastic that we do use can be easily reused and eventually recycled. Or better still, upcycled. Because plastic can only be recycled a limited number of times, so upcycling it into something that is not designed for single use is a much better way to bring unwanted plastic items into a circular economy. This will ensure that any plastic that we use cannot make its way into the ocean. 